Hi there, what the fuck's your boo? Marks on Tuesday, five numbers after the name of little games beating action over here, man. A little Uncharted 2. Kind of started playing this on something a little bit light that I could just kind of get through pretty easily and whatnot. I put it though on a hard difficulty because I knew there was like a trophy that you could get if you played it on a harder difficulty than normal or whatever. Um, so it wasn't the easiest, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, I like this kind of has like a little bit off to it. Okay, I didn't expect that. All right, that's what's up. Um, but overall though, it's still a pleasant experience over here. And Uncharted 2 is still a very good game. Leaps and bounds better than the first one. I would be tempted to say I probably like three more than two, but I gotta go through and play three at some point again. I'm kind of working my way through like the series. Not really like bang, 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 one after another, but just over the span of a couple months, I'm kind of just popping them in and going through them. And it's a really good game. Like when my girl like falls asleep and stuff, like at night and stuff, and I recover the TV and I'm like, ah, right, you know, what do I want to play? I was like, you know, I'm not in the mood for anything intense. I'm more in the mood for something like, got like an hour, pop this bad boy in, get through a couple chapters, put in a little bit of work right here. Run smooth on the PS5. I wouldn't say there's any huge upgrade over the PS4 version of it. I don't know. I guess it loads faster, maybe, in theory. I have no idea. But everything operated smooth. Everything operated great. Um, you know, th there is a little bit of clunkiness in just when this game came out. And overall, the controls, like the shooting controls and stuff, like, are never really my favorites. Uh, you know, Naughty Dog games kind of... I almost compared a little bit to, the, like, Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. Like... I don't play it necessarily for the gunplay. I could almost do without it. Um, but it is a fun aspect, and there are a lot of kind of scenes, like this one, for example, over here, that kind of take it into a, like a new direction, shall we say, and just put you in situations of like pure madness. And the story is really cool, and uh, I, I really like the final boss. It might be one of my favorite final bosses of like the series as well. So make sure you check it out.